fastest man in professional football. Marquise Goodwin. Marquise Goodwin, say goodnight to it. Goodwin for the touchdown. I want to be what my father never was to me. I always wanted a kid. Man, that's going to be the best day of my life, and I can't wait for it. Had some misfortune at times, but we strong people. I first met Marquise Goodwin in 2014 when he was a rookie wide receiver with the Buffalo Bills. Back then, Goodwin's mission in life was to make enough money in the NFL to build the perfect home for his little sister, Deja, who has cerebral palsy. That mission was accomplished in 2018 when he surprised Deja and their mom with a brand new house. But there was always another dream that Marquise Goodwin had one that he and his wife Morgan had to painfully accept might never come true, fatherhood. Here's part one of the Goodwin story. I'm, waiting. I'm, waiting. I'm anxious, man, let's go. Like I'm about to play in a game or something. Yeah. <laughs> Just ready to get there, get this thing cracked. It's been a long time coming. Is it? I'm excited. The fastest man in the NFL. Good one for the touchdown. Is chasing the prize he wants most. I always wanted a kid, and I wanted so bad it was just taken. He wanted to be a father more than he want Super Bowl championship, Olympic gold medal. That's gonna be the best day of my life, and I can't wait for it. I know me and Marquise can get through anything. I feel like they took my lower half off of me. The price of failure is way too high here. Rain, rain, go away. Growing up near Dallas, Texas, Marquise Goodwin always ran faster and jumped farther than everyone else. The only thing that mattered more than winning was family. He's always been family first, and he would always explain to me the type of father he would be because his father wasn't around. My biological father never was in the picture, uh, not even one day. When I think of a man, I think of responsibilities at home for your wife and kids, something I've always aspired to be. We look forward to a great, great career at the University of Texas. Hook em horn. He had like 78 offers. He could go anywhere he wanted to go. He wanted to be as close to his family as possible so he wasn't leaving Texas. Marquise Goodwin, say goodnight to it. Marquise enrolled at the University of Texas, where he became a two-sport star. In 2011, his junior year, a freshman from Atlanta arrived on campus. When I started running, everybody's like, oh my god, this little girl is so fast. So I'm like, oh, I'm fast? Like, OK. I was doing it because I enjoyed it, and I was good. I told her to stay focused in college, no boyfriend. Just stay focused. If you don't do good, somebody else going to take your spot. One of my guys called me. Bruh, it's a girl that looks just like you. I mean, this is your sister. And I'm like, ain't no way. Everybody knew who he was. She just didn't care if that's what you wanted to say. Yeah, <laughs> I just really didn't care. You know, I'm just going to go out there and run my best, and I. I always do good. She's a great athlete. <laughs> Who's faster? <laughs> she beat me one time. Pissed me he off. He was so mad. He was what? like, what are Didn't you talk doing? to her the whole rest of practice. <laughs> Marquise got a strong spirit, and she was a little bit like me, where she could bend him a little bit. I kind of like that. It was hard for me to convince her to be my girl. You know, obviously, she failed for me. Oh, God. Game strong. Uh, of course. Obviously. Marquise competed in the long jump at the 2012 Olympics. 
The following spring, he was invited to the NFL Combine, where he ran the 40-yard dash in 4.27 seconds, the third fastest time in Combine history. The Buffalo Bills select Marquise Goodwin. Touchdown! Touchdown, Flash Goodwin! After his rookie season with the Bills, Marquise was ready to start a family. For Richard? For Richard? For poor. For poor. For Richard? For poor. For you know, like a fairy tale. You meet your college sweetheart, you get married, and you know, you have kids, and then ride off into the sunset. In 2017, Marquise became a free agent and signed with the San Francisco 49ers. That wasn't the only new beginning. I just remember her giving me the pregnancy test, yeah. <laughs> and just seeing the lines on her, I'm like. Is this real? You, you for real? Oh, we having a baby, like, let's go, let's go. We posted on social media that we were expecting. His priority went from his wife and football to this baby being born. That's all he was thinking about was this baby. Everything was looking great, and then phew, all hell broke loose. At their 19-week appointment, doctors diagnosed Morgan with cervical insufficiency. It's a rare condition where the cervix begins to open under the weight of a growing baby. It can lead to premature birth. There's no clear cause for it, and it's only detectable during a pregnancy. I said, well, I'm gonna go home and be on bed rest and try to hang on as long as I could. Wife, it was like, I don't feel right. She went to use the restroom and the baby, like, sack started protruding out. I'm like, oh, this can't be happening. Like, this is crazy. The Goodwins rushed to a nearby hospital. Because the baby was already exposed, doctors had to deliver immediately. At 19 weeks, the baby's lungs were not fully formed. On Sunday, November 12th, baby Goodwin was delivered. There was no chance of survival. To know that that was the end, yeah, it sucked. That's my first time ever holding something that small. I want to be what my father never was to me. And I want it so bad. And it was just taken. I was mad at my body. I was embarrassed. Why embarrassed? Because we had already posted and people were waiting for us to have kids. Just hours after the couple's loss, the 49ers were set to kick off against the New York Giants. I wasn't gonna put the game above my wife, no way. The duties of a husband is to support the wife through whatever. Why did you want Marquise to play in that game? So that his son could see him one last time. Go do this for the baby. The baby wanna see you play. Go do this for your son. Third and eight, down the middle, he's got a receiver. Wide open is Goodwin. Once I seen him catch the ball, I knew he was scoring. Like, best man in the league. For the touchdown, 83 yards. Very emotional. Very emotional. I just bust out crying. Boo hooing, like snotty nose crying. Pray for the baby, pray for Mo. My first touchdown of the season, it was a crazy moment. We were both at a low point in our life. Then it's like, okay, are we gonna lose each other now? Or are we gonna, you know, continue to grow like we would have if we would have had this baby? Leaving the hospital and walking out empty handed, it hurts. Parkis was very helpful. 
He always made sure that I knew that he didn't blame it on me and he didn't want me to blame it on myself. Being strong does not mean that you don't get depressed. Us sharing our story through social media gave other people encouragement going through miscarriage or loss or stillbirth. You are now tuning into Good One Season, baby. Yes. Good One Season, our YouTube channel. Yeah. That's part of my healing process, just like getting it out, talking about it. A lot more people deal with this than I thought. Even people on my team who had never said anything to anybody about it. After losing baby Goodwin, Marquise put together the best two-month stretch of his career. Goodwin goes up and makes a catch. <laughs> down, let's go. Off the field, he and Morgan remained determined to become parents. Look at who it is. In January of 2018, Morgan underwent a procedure called a transabdominal cerclage, which keeps the cervix closed during any future pregnancy. How you feeling? <coughs> the surgery has a success rate of more than 90%. She's an athlete. I've seen how determined she can be. She's just as determined, if not even more, to have her baby. I wanted to actually try again immediately. How come? I was ready to have a baby. My grieving process was going to be me pregnant again, bringing home a child. Every year in the U.S., about one in five pregnancies ends in miscarriage. NFL wide receiver Marquise Goodwin and his wife Morgan experienced that devastating reality in 2017. In a hurricane of hurt, they dared to look for a rainbow. Here's part two of their story. <laughs> in the summer of 2018, Marquise Goodwin and his wife Morgan dreamed of having a rainbow baby, a child born to a couple following infant loss. Baby, just do what do you think eight months be, after losing baby Goodwin, five, this happened. Oh. <laughs> Two, one. We lost one blessing, and now we're getting two. Thank you. Two boys. Oh, M G. Yes. It definitely helped with moving forward. We had spent so much time like grieving, and that was the best, the best news I could have gotten. The perfect rainbow at the end of the storm. Times two. Man, I was on cloud nine. You know, everybody's hopes were, was up here. You can't just have a loss and think that everything is gonna really just go smooth the next time because you just never know. 2017, our loss was 19 weeks. So as I was approaching 19 weeks, I was nervous again. I told her not to worry about it and I had no worry about it. And here we are at 19 weeks again. Same situation. In November of 2018, doctors explained that the cerclage that closed Morgan's cervix was failing. The twins were at risk. My stomach dropped for sure. How we got that issue, we already got it fixed. So what you mean we got a cervix issue? It's no way in hell that that's gonna happen. Like, no chance. Doctors were unable to close her cervix. Again, Morgan was forced to deliver at just 19 weeks. Marcel and Markel Goodwin were born on November 25th. There was no chance of survival. My worst fear had happened all over again. I was just very mad, very disappointed, and just heartbroken that that wasn't even supposed to happen. And it made me feel like the bottom of the earth, the scum on the earth, because I can't say anything or do anything that's gonna make her feel better. That's one of the hardest things for me to deal with. When you want something so bad, 
come home empty-handed again. That's tough. Devastation times 10. He was in a dark place. I know how much he wants to be a father and to keep taking it, snatching it from him, taking that from him. We appreciate y'all for supporting us so much through this time. Yeah, I finally had the courage to open up and talk about it. He's the best thing that ever happened to me. Even through the bad, even through the good, he's just been the best thing that ever happened to me. I learned that she's a fighter. And to see her and how strong she is and just moving forward, it makes me proud. I missed two games due to our loss. I got a lot of negative feedback from people. Um, they were mad at me because I wasn't getting them fantasy points. And here I am, like, grieving the loss of my twins. Despite the pain, Marquise and Morgan were still determined to start a family. Just four months after losing their twins, they traveled to Chicago to see a reproductive specialist for a new transabdominal cerclage. Hello, sir. How you doing, sir? Good to see you. Marquise. Doctors closed the cervix with multiple bands. It was Morgan's last chance at carrying her own child to full term. She understands a lot better why it may not have worked before and will now. She's got multiple bands. That's the key here. We're here to build families, and there's no better example of that than these two. The price of failure is way too high here. I feel like they took my lower half off of me. There are options. A surrogate, you could adopt. Why put your body through this again? Ultimately, this is what I want. I took extreme measures to, to, to be a mom and to start our family. I mean, I'm not gonna give up. I'm not a quitter. I'm not gonna get discouraged. I'm just gonna support her in whatever she decides. You riding with her? I'm riding with her. Where, where, wherever it takes us. We got something in store for y'all. Exclusive. Exclusive. Only on good one season. <sighs> Only on good one season. On September 3rd, 2019, six months after Morgan's surgery, the Goodwins head to a doctor's appointment. Hello. Hey, how are you doing? Yeah, how you doing? Let's check your baby today. Let's check the heartbeat. Uh-oh, cat out the bag. <laughs> Heartbeat is good, 153. Nice and strong. The heartbeat, uh, it just makes it more real. Are we sure that's the leg? This is the leg. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not scared this time. I know me and Marquise can get through anything at this point. We've had some misfortune at times, but we strong people. Loops it down for Goodwin, who's open at the 10, the 5, touchdown! A few days later, Marquise Goodwin begins his seventh NFL season, eagerly awaiting the birth of his child. The couple clears the 19-week hurdle for the first time ever. We just pregnant up here, man. 24 weeks. Yes. That's a big landmark, you know that. Oh, big relief. 24 weeks, the baby is viable. Now the baby will, can survive. This is so cool. This is my first time getting to do this type of stuff. Hey, hey. You don't really know what happy feels like unless you experience some downfalls. This is how we remember our boys, baby Goodwin. And these are our twins. Our boys? Markel and Marcel. Yes. A lot of people don't think to get, you know, their babies cremated. We owed it to the boys to do this for them, to remember them. 
Marquise plays through injuries for most of the season. In December of 2019, the 49ers place him on the injured reserve list. When I don't get to play, it really, really encourages me to prioritize my family more and more. You never know what, how the game will treat you. This is 100% my focus. The NFC title game. A life-changing opportunity, period. The 49ers make a run to Championship Sunday, one win away from the Super Bowl. while the Goodwins are in Atlanta for a different big event. It's like tug of war. I really want to be with my team. On the other end, we're finally getting our rainbow baby, so words really can't explain the feelings that I have right now. This girl look good. Look at that stomach. been a blessing, this journey that we've had. Hold up, we're going to count it down at 10, y'all. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Feel super, baby. Patrick Mahomes, 1-10 for the touchdown. In the Super Bowl, Marquise watches his team lose to Kansas City, 31 to 20. Losing in the Super Bowl, me not being able to play, all that is out the window is behind me because I have such a blessing coming tomorrow, something that we've been waiting for over three years now. That's gonna be the best day of my life. The next morning, Morgan is scheduled for a C-section. You coming out today? He want to be a father more than he want Super Bowl championship, Olympic gold medal. Baby, why you brought this big old suitcase? <laughs> I'm anxious, man. Let's go. I'm looking forward to that loud cry when they pull the baby out of my womb and to see Marquise's face. Heart beating fast. Next time y'all see me, I'm gonna be a daddy. Marquise, oh my God. Oh my God. It's a girl. My heart is going a million miles an hour. At 7.48 a.m. on February 19th, Murray Goodwin is born. Fatherhood, everything about it, this is where I can begin to come into a full man. Thank you. Lost three boys and now birthed our first good. girl, which is great. Baby finally here. There's a rainbow at the other end. It's not gonna always be the storm. Dada. Mama. Dada. Mama. Oh, there it is, that's the reaction. Mama. Dada. No. Oh, that's the reaction. <laughs> no, that's not. The Goodwins are loving parenthood. Baby Murray is already four months old. And the family is now headed to Philadelphia following Marquise's trade to the Eagles during April's NFL draft. That's it for our special Father's Day edition of E60. For Jeremy Schaap and all of us here at E60, I'm Lisa Salters. Thanks for having joined us.